doing estimates. Figured I'd stop by Tremont Coffee Company. Good morning, everyone. How are you doing on this beautiful Tuesday evening? Yes, I changed it up on you guys. Some people are like, oh, why do you guys say morning? Because we always see the video in the evening. And it's kind of like, because when it's morning time, it kind of sounds weird to us saying good evening. But anyways, guys, let's take a trip out here to Schleba. I need to get some quick maintenance stuff, pick up some parts and stuff. And then we're going to get back here and we're going to get into what this video is all going to be about. Bear with me here a second, guys. So that didn't go as planned, but I'm going to go ahead and kill uh, another bird while I'm out here. So the U-mount, we got elect uh, a longer electrical wire for that U-mount. So I got rain all over my glasses, porn. Uh, so Schleba is actually going to install that new electrical wire onto the U-mount so that we can put it further back on the right ZK. So I got in a big old hurry and forgot to put my tarp down. Most important part. Went ahead and sped this part up for you guys. I didn't think anybody would want to watch me scrape out the deck for five minutes. And I'll tell you what, I don't like doing it. So I figured you wouldn't like watching it. But uh, hey, if you guys do, let me know down in the comments. And next time I do this, I'll go ahead and put a little bit of regular, I guess, speed in there for you guys. So that's always my least favorite part. Normally I like to wear a mask. But uh, I looked around. Couldn't find any of my mask and put in like those little fabric ones on. Not going to do much, so I just held my Carhartt hat over my face. But we got it all cleaned out. It's pretty dry. All right, guys, so we have a bunch of different blades here. I have a ton back here in the corner, and I also, I also have a ton out of our at our dealership because our dealership, Schleybaugh, they actually run a program where you can pretty much bring your blades in real quick. They'll put another set on, take your old ones, and then sharpen them until you come back, you know, whenever. Uh, they have that program. So we actually have, I think, 10 sets out there also uh, between our 6,000, our grandstand, and even our uh, Xmark that we take out there to get service because a lot of people don't know, but the newer Xmark and Toros, the blades are pretty much exactly the same. There's not a real difference in them. Uh, but getting back to what we were saying, I'm going to go ahead and run these across the grinder real quick. Uh, they just got a little bit of surface rust on them. I'm going to clean up. Uh, if you're wondering about the bolt pattern also, the uh, Toro, they have this through bolt, I guess you could call it. So it's a bolt, a washer, uh, a bigger washer, and then this like big nut thing that goes up in there and that's what locks it in. And you don't have to worry about this thing going anywhere, guys. Once you tighten it, that's what's really nice. You don't need a wrench up top or a, a you know tool up top, anything like that. You just tighten this baby down and as long as it's snug, you're good to go. So what I like to do because I don't, I don't, uh, measure the balance here. I don't worry about that. I'll just normally put about three passes on each set just to clean them up, sharpen them up. But once a month or so, we'll take them to Schleba 
have them take them off. They'll balance them out, clean them up real good, and just keep that professional edge on them and keep them balanced. Like I said, I'm probably going to do about three passes. This one's got a little burr on it. The other side's still sharp as can be. But uh, just going to put a nice clean edge on it. Not Don't have to be perfect. Like I said, we'll take them to the dealership. But uh, this will keep a nice clean edge on our blade, keep it nice and sharp so that we're not tearing the grass. So I got that burr off the end there I was wanting, and looks good. I'm gonna run it one time down the back side. That'll work. Pay real close attention whenever you're doing this and you go across that back side, you can actually see the lip as it heats up. You just gotta pay real close attention to it. trying to knock a little bit of a nick out of there. So now what I like to do guys is I'll just lay them all out here, okay? Go ahead and put the bolts back in the way they go because believe it or not, I have done it myself and if you're in lawn care landscaping, it's going to happen. You're going to end up putting a blade on upside down. So basically like this. Now, it's not a big deal. It's not going to damage anything, but you're just going to figure out real quick whenever you go to mow that uh, your mower's not cutting very well. And uh, you're going to be swapping the blade over real fast on the job site. Hopefully you have the tools with you to do that. But uh, yeah, so I like to just lay them out just like this. I'll lay them down underneath the mower and uh, go ahead and throw them back on. All right, guys. So real quick before I finish out this video, I want to take this opportunity to just say thank you to this community and to all of you that are coming to our event this Saturday. You know, we're just very blessed. And thank you to all of the companies that stepped forward and said, you know, hey, we really can't be affiliated with it but we want to help you guys out and take care of things 
uh, you know, merchandise, this and that, and uh, made this event possible. You know, uh, we're very blessed. Great big thank you to Schlebach, to Color Engines uh, for purchasing all the food. Uh, I can't say enough to Equipment Defender for giveaways, Isotunes for giveaways, and I know I'm going to forget others, but uh, just everyone. And, you know, I'm going to try to record as much of the event as I can so you guys can see it. And uh, hopefully, you know, if we do something next year at a different time, because GIE will be back, uh, you guys can all join us for the next one. and It'll be bigger and better than ever. So I always like to start my bolts by hand, just so I know I'm not cross-threading them. So right here, a new guy might start thinking, do I need to have my blades lined up perfectly? And on these style of mowers, guys, you don't have to worry about it. Now, there are certain mowers, kind of like a direct collect system, the walkers, you have to have those blades lined up exactly perfect. Easy peasy, punk and squeeze. Fastest way I've figured out how to do it. Keep mowing, keep growing, keep making money, boys. We'll talk to you later. TQ up. Peace. Bye.